Hello Linux enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some exciting news for you as we dive into the latest release of Endeavor OS code named Galileo. Endeavor OS, the Arch-based user-friendly Linux distribution, has unveiled its newest update, Galileo. Just like its predecessor, Cassini, this release brings some significant changes. Let's explore what Galileo has to offer. First off, Galileo is a major upgrade with key changes. The most noticeable one, Endeavor OS has made a shift from XFCE to KDE Plasma. But that's not all, so let's brave it down. To kick things off, the Welcome app has seen some improvements. Now, during installation, you'll find a dedicated language selection option on the bottom left. The icons have also received a facelift, and the installer now features KDE Plasma by default. Now, let's talk about the Calamaras installer. With KDE Plasma as the default, you can only install one desktop environment or window manager during the installation process. This change aims to avoid conflicts with packages post-installation. But don't worry, you can still install additional environments after setup. Also, say goodbye to community additions in the installer. Variants like Sway, Qtile, BSPWM, Openbox, and Worm are no longer available through Calamaras. However, you can manually install them from their GitHub page. This change was necessary due to shifts in the development team. The big move, KDE Plasma now takes the throne as the default desktop environment, replacing XFCE. This change was made to streamline development and maintenance, offering a more native experience for developers using the Calamaras installer. Beyond these major changes, Galileo introduces several other noteworthy improvements. Local hostname resolution is enabled on new installations. Stronger Lux2 encryption is implemented when systemd boot is selected, and the permissions for the FE partition are stricter to avoid bugs. The Calamara's package selection screen has also been restructured for a more intuitive experience. If you're eager to try out Endeavor OS Galileo, you can grab it from their official website. Plus, they've expanded their download mirrors worldwide for better accessibility. And that wraps up our overview of Endeavor OS Galileo. What do you think of these changes? Are you excited about the transition to KDE Plasma? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux-related content. Until next time, happy computing!